So today I'm going to share the painting process with Gas, who is a dad and has a full-time job and how he can paint up 10 gut rippers efficiently. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind. Welcome back to the channel collectors. I hope you have been enjoying our AOS videos today. And today we have Gas. Yay! Hello. So Gas, today I'm gonna need your help to paint up these 10 gut rippers. Okay, that'll be invent to my schedule. Uh yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty tough since you have a full-time job and I guess you're a dad. Yes, I am a dad. Okay. Uh, for many years now. Yeah, so I guess painting can be a little bit challenging to try to fit into these shadows and what we're going to do is we're going to design this scheme so that it has phases and there are fixed checkpoints so that you can effectively take a break after these checkpoints. Mm -hmm. We're looking to approach this as a casual painter. Yeah, but you guys might have seen Gaz's work so he has painted like Captain Imelda for Cur City so he's actually pretty experienced if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it just takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Yeah. So as usual, we have divided this video into very useful chapters. So we are going to cover the concept. Then secondly, we're going to do the contrast. And we're going to be focusing on the details. Then we're going to do the environment. And lastly, the basing. So what you can see is everything that's a face so that Gaz can take a break and do his work and dead things when he's needed to. So the concept about this process is I designed the steps so that they can be done within 30 to 60 minutes and I think they should be pretty easy to fit into your pretty busy schedule I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean I have a lot of small breaks, half hour slots between objects processing or children sleeping, things like that. Yeah, so as long as you can just consistently just do 30 minutes at a time, I'm pretty sure that we can get this entire batch of gut reapers done really quickly. And after achieving a base standard, what we can do is we can focus in 30 to 60 minute bursts of how we can bring these miniatures to a higher standard. Yeah, by just adding some environmental lighting and even doing some pretty elaborate basing that we have done in our previous video. So in this video, Gas will also be sharing some of his experience painting in phases and hopefully you guys can adopt this process too. So as usual, with all the miniatures in the Dominion box set, we are going to set up the premise that they are fighting a sunset battle in a swampy box. So that's how we're going to paint up the 10 gut rippers with Gas this time round. So Gas, don't worry, all the models have already been assembled and Zenithal Prime, so you'll make your painting process a lot smoother and easier. Good, let's that done. So welcome to the first chapter of the video. In this first chapter, I'm going to recommend the use of contrast on the miniature so that we can do all the heavy lifting such as the base coating, the layering, the shading and this will work in tandem with the zenithal highlighting. So guess I just hope you can trust this process because I know that it's a little bit different from how you usually paint. I don't okay. often use contrast, so this will be new for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I'll just have to trust it like you say and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. So what I recommend for this stage, right, is for contrast, it's always easier to just overload the brush and then just break off the excess. For this process, what I've done is I've used the contrast paints that we don't need to thin down. So you can cut down a lot of time from the thinning. But usually I would recommend thinning down some contrast paints to a ratio of one contrast paint to three contrast thinner medium. So I understand that you're not very familiar with the contrast medium. I really recommend using contrast medium because using water, you just get very ugly tight marks while mm -hmm. you use the contrast process. So we just got to use the contrast medium for this process. So in this contrast process, what we're going to do is there are fixed areas that we should just be applying the contrast on. It should be pretty brainless so that you can just continue working or doing your other stuff while you're multitasking. Okay, that's good, yeah. Uh huh. So for this stage, we're going to be using these colors right here. So let's get these colors ready and let's get painting the gut rippers right now. All right, so we're going to start off with Plague Barrel Flash. And Plague Barrel Flash, what we're going to do is we're just going to do it in a very liberal manner so that we just cover up the flash parts of this True Boy Gut Ripper. Okay, don't worry if you get this around the areas because this is easily coverable and you don't need to worry too much about making a mess. Okay, so we're going to use Blood Angel's Red right here. And remember, the tip about using contrast is overload the brush and try to overload the model, then clean off the excess. 
don't do this in multiple coats. Okay, next up, I'll be using Saigor Brown, and this will be thinned down in a ratio of one Saigor Brown to one contrast medium. I find that Saigor Brown is a little bit too dark, and this really helps. And because when you thin it down, you also have some Saigor Brown left over in the palette, and we can use that for a later stage. Okay, so moving on, right here, I'm gonna be using GW Dark Wolf Flash just to cover up the bindings and just to introduce a little bit of color differential to the entire model. You don't want all the bindings to be the same color as the leathers. This makes the model look a lot more interesting. And lastly, I'm going to be using AK Gen 3 Gunmetal mixed in with a little bit of Saigor Brown. And what you can do is you can just use this to base coat all the metal parts. So this is the shoulder pads, the knee pads, the blade, etc etc. I'm also going to be using this to base coat the teeth and the eyes of the scare shoe. So right here I'm going to be using Games Workshop Atomatic Blue. Atomatic Blue is very very translucent so you don't need to thin this down. I'm going to be using this as an accent color in the eye sockets, the nose, the mouth to show that like there's a bit of poison coming out from his mouth and he's very cool in nature. This cool tone really contrasts against the warm plate barrel flash that we used previously. So that's the contrast stage. Plate barrel flash there, used for the orc skin. Looks really nice. Pretty surprised at that. And the brown, doubled up as a wash for the metal. So guess, what do you think about the contrast stage? It was different, a lot different than painting normally. Uh -huh. There were points where I didn't think it was going to turn out good in the end, so you're going to have to really trust the process, like you've said. But in the end, yeah, it's looked really good, as you'll see. Yeah, it was so efficient. Guess did this entire stage within the night. Pretty much one night, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just one night and it's pretty much tabletop ready already. I guess if you really want to play the game, this is the fastest method that you can get your miniatures painted up. But we're going to take it up slightly to the next level. So now that miniatures have been already base coated, shaded and stuffed with the contrast paint, we are going to move on to the details of these miniatures. So I've designed this face so that we work with singular colours so that Gaz can just work on a particular part without mixing colours so that Gaz can just fit this into his very busy schedule. So Gaz, if you notice, the downside of contrast is we can't really get the details out. It just gets the base layers and we can't really say, I want to paint the eyes red. There's no way to do that with contrast. So this is the purpose of this stage. So for this stage, we're going to work on the small little details such as the eyes, the lips, the teeth and a bit of layering possibly. Okay, so for this segment, we're going to be using these colors right here. All right. Alternatively, you can use these Games Workshop colors to substitute them if you don't have these colors that I'm using. And let's get painting the details on the gut rippers right now. Alright, so right here I'm going to be using AK Gentry Matte Red or you can use Games Workshop Eversun Scarlet, just painting in the eyes. And for the teeth right here, I'm going to be using AK Gentry Deck 10 or you can just use Wushap T-Bone from Games Workshop. Okay, so moving on, we're going to be doing some layering. I'm going to be using AK Gentry Frog Green mixed in with a little bit of AK Gentry Ivory or you can use some Elysian Green mixed in with just a little bit of Screaming Skull. This should add in a bit of definition to the flesh of the model and it should clean up a bit of the grainy Zento highlighting that might happen with a spray can. I started to put a lot of effort into doing the eyes, just a quick dash of red. Can't stand doing eyes or teeth. So now that we've done up the details for the gut reapers, how do you find the process, Guess? I find it quite good. Uh, mm -hmm. Eventually, during it, it was pretty soul crushing at points because uh, you find you're kind of doing the same thing over and over and over. And it was hard to resist the temptation to get out normal paints and just trust that the contrast will do what it's supposed to do. But it was nice to sort of pick up and play and not have to mix colours, just use things straight from the bottle, clean my brush. I can go away if I hear crying in another room or someone calls me on the phone. Or, I need to do this and that. So yeah, it worked out good in the end and kind of have to just focus on the end product. And if it doesn't look so good in the mid, just put that to the back of your mind and carry on. I think there's always the temptation because we are pretty experienced painters and there's always this urge to like, oh, I want to blend this a little bit better. But I guess if you're doing batch painting, you just have to focus on this one color and do the lips, 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 eyes, 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 teeth, 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 teeth. And this is the best way to get the batch done as quickly as possible. 
So now we've come to the environmental chapter where we'll include some environmental lights to show that these gut reapers are fighting in a sunset battle in this swampy bog. We're going to be using very little colours and it's going to be very similar to the previous stage but the difference is we are going to tie all these units together to make them all look very cohesive and look good as a unit together. And it'd be nice to see all the different styles that each of us has painted brought together with one binding effect with the same orange glow over each one of them. And so when they're all on the table, we'll know that they're all part of the same project, which mm -hmm. will be nice to see. Yep. So yeah. So Gas also integrates a lot of environmental lighting into his projects. I'm very curious to see how this entire batch looks together once we have put all the environmental lighting together in place. So for this chapter, we're going to be using these colours right here. Alternatively, you can use these colours from Game Workshop. Let's get these colours ready and let's paint up the environmental lighting for the gut rippers right now. Alright, so I've done a slight spray of Games Workshop Dark Old Flash from the left hand side to create the glow and I'm going to be using the orange paint, gradually layering it up. Okay, so right here I'm going to be using AK Gen 3 Light Orange to really create the high highlights. The previous color I was using was AK Gen 3 Medium Orange. Okay. We can use Fire Dragon Bright for this stage. Fire Dragon Bright. Okay, right here, I'm going to be adding in just a touch of AK Gen 3 Lemon Yellow to the existing mix. And brightening up the top areas of this sunset fight. Okay, so for the bottom areas, I'm going to be using AK Gen 3 Green Grey. Or you can just use Games Workshop Incubi Darkness for this stage. This is to show the reflected light coming from the swamp and it's this cool boggy grey colour. Alright, so you can see it really forms a very nice framing for the entire model. Look at that fast painting there. Makes it easier when you paint fast. You just have to spend less time painting. No one enjoys painting. So what do you think about the environmental lighting? I think it really helped. Um, it sort of brought in another level on top of the contrast, whereas the contrast sat within the recesses of the muscles. Um, the highlights brought the depth to another level, mm -hmm. um, which really looked good on sort of the outstretched arms of the shields or some of the torso areas. Yeah, it really looked good in the end. All right. So now that we have done up the environmental lighting, the last stage is obviously the basing, but we have already done a video on that. I mean, what I recommend to you to do, guess, is just to mass produce them and if possible, just get the off-the-shelf stuff because it's so much more convenient and it really saves a lot of mess. You don't need to mix up the sand, mix up the glue and just put it on the base. You can just scoop it from the top. Yeah, that's what I recommend for the basing. Alright, so thank you guys for helping me paint up these 10 gut rippers. I think that they really look very amazing. And this is how the gut rippers are looking right now. So we have it. This is the gut ripper I painted. And I think that it looks pretty good for a batch. So this is one of the samples that Gas painted. And let's see how all of them look together. Wow, wonderful. I really like how the orange glows ties all the models together. And it was really, really efficient. So thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. So if you found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe because this allows us to keep yeah. producing videos like these. Okay. And I can invite my friends such as Gas to come and paint on with us. And if you want to support the channel even further, why don't you head on to Patreon and become a Patreon today because this really helps us produce videos. And yeah, thank you guys for watching all the way again. And I hope to see you in the next Dominion Painting video. See you guys.